beautiful, neat paws dangling from tree. But of course, as we said that, she moved. But that's okay, because we get to watch her come down from her somewhat precarious position in the Palter Forum that she was in, also known as a weeping wattle. And I was right about Wabayisa. I just had a moment of confusion. And, of course, Bahuti being her surviving male cub as well. But it was Wabayisa that Tristan said to me was the one with the massive ears. So here comes Tandy on her way down, hopefully on her way to fetch young Tamba. Where are you going, big girl? I love watching these sights in complete darkness with the infrared. It's such an eerie feeling. All I can see of her is a silhouette, just a flick of her tail every now and again against the sunlight. And yet I can see her perfectly on my monitor through the eyes of a camera. It does make for some truly special sightings. Now, as most of you know, Tandy's an interesting leopard. She's a leopard that requires and demands a slightly further level of personal space. She's more than comfortable to come up to the vehicles herself, but she does prefer to be allowed to move closer in sort of her own time and her own space. And if you don't allow her that courtesy, I've seen once or twice what happens, and she growls. Uh, she's never charged me, but it's one of my favorite things about her. I'm just keeping my lights on for now while I search for her, just to see where she's going. It's gonna be very difficult for, for us to follow if she does move off. There's Tamba. Now, Maro, you want to know about the meanings behind Tandi and Tamba. Maro, Tamba, I believe, means boulder. And Tandi means the one who is loved. So Tandi means the one who is loved. Tamba, am I right about that? Tamba means boulder. And it was apparently given to him by the Chitwa guides on the basis that he was denned with his sibling close to or underneath one of the rooms and there were lots of big boulders around. That's what I heard was one of the reasons why Tamba was called Tamba. Sorry, my boy. There we go. Lights off. There we go. Lights off. I don't know where Tandy went at all. She vanished. But Tamba is just there. I'm just going to use my spotlight to just quickly scan. I'm not shining on him. Just a quick scan. Sorry about that, Fergus. Now, Rakesh, you want to know how many leopards there are in our area. Well, Rakesh, we have, let's count. Karula, her two cubs. Tingana, okay, let's go females. Karula, her two cubs. Tandi and Tamba, these leopards here, in Kanyeni. Look, he's, he wants to go pounce on his mum. Sorry, hold on one second. She must be just there. Here she is. Hi, girl. Such an amazing feeling. There we go. A portrait of mother and son. Sorry, I lost track of my counting. Karula, no two cubs. Tandi and Tamba. Shadow. Let's not count her young cub at the moment, just yet. Mvula, Tingana, Quarantine. Kun not quite Kunuma. Let's stop counting Kunuma because we hardly ever see him. Inkanyeni, Rutomi. We're already on 11. Anderson. Hello, Tandi. Anderson, male. Who have I forgotten? Shaluva. Not the Shaluva that was killed, the other Shaluva. Shaluva 2013. That's 13. And we could be talking about more as well. Those are just the leopards that I would say we see relatively regularly. But you'll probably find there's more than that. Sindile, for example. Shadow's young male. 
who comes and goes every now and again, as he should at that age, while he's looking for a nice territorial patch. She's giving him such a good bath. She's beautiful in this infrared. I'm just gonna keep my voice down nice and quiet. Because bear in mind I can't see her at all. Hi big girl. Just watching her body language. She's still looking at us. There we go. How amazingly, you're seeing that incredible reflection of her eyes, of the tapetum lucidum at the back of her eyes. Gives you an idea of how incredibly effective it is. And yet, she's not seeing any kind of a glow from us, just a sort of a dull red glow. And I know she is, because that's what I see. Amazing. She picked up on my movement immediately. I got bitten by a mosquito, so I moved my arm to my leg. And that was immediately her change in body language. Here we go. Giving herself a thorough cleaning. Ah, that actually helps tremendously. Thank you, Fergus. I can now see her with my bare eyes. Just... Oh, did you get a mouthful of fur, girl? How amazing is it that we can sit in complete blackness and look at these incredible cats. I'm speaking very softly because she's come to sit right close to us. And as I said, Tundi, Tundi is known for making her displeasure known. She's never done it to me, but I'd prefer to keep it that way. It's very hard to gauge distance because I can't, I don't really want to turn too much without a door. I feel like the movement might startle her. There we go. That's her. Keeping an eye on us. Yeah, you see the movement did startle her a little bit. So the camera will just have to stay on her. Not too bad. She's back to washing almost immediately. I think she's used to vehicles sitting with a spotlight on or with their lights on. The sudden darkness is... must be odd to her to have humans sitting without lights on. I'm going to sit here in the inky black and watch Tundi in green. Let's go and find out what Byron is up to.